Hey, bro. Recently, this Alva. The latest two versions support one streaming. You don't have to use MetaQuest Link. Log into your account to perform my training. You can use the tool. This project is written in Rust, very elegant. Let's click this release to download the latest installation package. I'm using the Windows system now. Just download the Windows installation package. I'll save it to the desktop. The APK installation package needs to be installed in the Quest. I'll download it here too. Because this wired streaming is implemented through ADB. So we also need to download the ADB tool. So go to the Android official website to download. I click on this SDK tools. Then click this to download the Windows version. Then download it, save it to desktop. Okay now these installation packages are downloaded. We take our ELVR. Ends to the retrieval tool. I'll unzip my C drive here. This ELVR folder of my program. Okay current XV. We are here to the directory we just unzipped. You can use this exe executable file of this AIVR. Send desktop. Shortcuts. This is my previous shortcut. We can add it. Make it shorter. Then we double click to start it. Click next here. Here, click next or net. Then you need to download a VDK here. It's a cable tool. We click to open the cable tool website. I'll download this 2024 version here. I'm still downloading it to the desktop. This is the cable tool I just downloaded. We insert to the current location. Enter this cable tool. Then 64 executable program. We run as administrator. I've installed it. So what is shown here is remove driver. If you don't hit install. Here install driver. Then click install to return to our Alva. Let's click next. This adds firewall rules. Let's click on following prompt to add settling. Then let's click next. Click next. Click finish and. This is its wired connection. We can check this. This yet. Let's make some simple settings. Because what connection? I'll just bring this image to the highest level. The transmission rate of this video is also directly pulled to the highest. Pull to 1000 guys. If your computer supports Bluetooth. Wireless headphones are connected. Then turn off this audio. Then you can transfer less. Bluetooth audio now. But I'm going to make it easier to record the screen later. Turn on this sound. Transfer the computer's sound to the Quest. Add it. Come to the settings of this Alva. Come to this connection. Check this automatic trust client as well. Then we'll no need for additional clicks to trust. This is a preset. You choose according to your graphics card. And this frame rate is also my Intel A770. And be all the highest. Then 72 Hz is no problem. You can use your graphics card strength. Just according to actual situation. Next, install this SDK tool. We double it. Unzip this platform tools to the directory you want to install. I still unzip my program to IC drive. Then open the directory I just unzipped. Open the directory of this platform tools. We are here to this address bar. Copy the address. Then come to this computer. Run out of Then click on this advanced system settings. Click the variant variable. Click a path. Click it one. Then click new. Paste the path of the platform tools just now. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. And turn this off. Then click the bed. We now click on the start menu. Enter CMD enter. Open this command prompt. This environment variable is configured successfully. We can enter ADB to see that there is this output. Now we connect using our streaming cable. Our quest. After the connection is successful. We enter ADB devices. Then go back. I've connected this title now. When you enter this command. In WordPress. It should have a pop-up prompt. Do you want to allow the computer to debug? Select allow. If debugging is successful. This was shown here. Now our ADB connection is successful. Let's come to this ALVR and click on this device. Then we click this to start Steam VR. The press is that you need to stop this DVR. Back to our CMD. Let's install the APK installation package. Let's enter ADB install. Then drag him over to download this APK just now. Then enter the car to see the CMD. It is on to installed. Then after passing it, it prompts that the installation is successful. At this time, the operation we need to do on the computer will be completed. 